Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of you have written to me about and that is how to improve your point work faster. A lot of you are very discouraged with your progress, want to feel more secure on point, so that's what we are going to be talking about today and I hope these tips will help you. I want to start with a disclaimer first. You cannot go on point quickly. Point work takes time, it takes effort, it takes patience. You have to be willing to put in the time and the effort to really go on point correctly. Because if you start to cut corners, if you start to kind of get on point just to get on point and start doing turns, for example, just to do turns, you're going to develop a lot of bad habits and you're going to have a lot of problems later. So going on point and doing point work correctly takes a lot of time. Any professional dancer has been through it. You know, we've all had to kind of put in our time with point work, so that's the first thing I want to say. These tips are just to help you improve quicker, but it still takes a lot of time and effort. It's not just about slapping on the shoes and starting to turn. So this kind of brings me to the first tip. Do not cheat. It is so important to do everything correctly, proper alignment, you know, hanging on to the bar while you try and do releves is not going to help you. You know, you've got to be in great alignment on the balls of your feet, really kind of proper technique. Um, while again, it might seem like, oh, this is taking forever, in the long run, it's going to be a lot quicker. You know, it takes longer to rush. If you try and get on point just to get on point and do it with bad technique, you're going to develop a lot of bad habits and you're not going to be able to stand up in the center. So make sure you're doing everything with proper alignment, proper technique, and do not cheat. All right, second thing, make sure you're rolling through your feet. Popping up is not going to help your point work. You know, you cannot just kind of pop up in the center. You've got to be going from flat, rolling through that ball of the foot, up to point, and then rolling back down. If you start doing your releves like that, you are going to develop so much strength in your feet because it's the metatarsals and this kind of action that makes point work a lot easier, a lot more beautiful, doesn't make it look so awkward. It's the dancers that kind of just go up and down like this that you're like, ah, don't hurt yourself, you know? So really make sure you are rolling through your feet, especially at bar. That's the perfect place to kind of go through those point shoes. You know, again, that goes back to not cheating. This is cheating. But especially if you're new on point, every single releve you do, go through the ball of the foot going up, but also coming down. Make sure you articulate every bone rolling up and down. If you do that, you're going to have the strongest feet and it's going to happen a lot quicker than you think. Third tip, make sure you're doing your exercises out of class. TheraBand, you know, Releve on Demi Point for calf strength. Any of the kind of exercises I've given you in the feet and point work strengthening workout are fabulous to do on your own. You know, point work is one of those things that you can't just do it 15 minutes in class five times a week and expect to advance. You've got to be doing your homework at home. So do the TheraBand, do some releves at home. I would not do anything more than you're doing in class at home. Don't put the point shoes on and start turning in your kitchen. You know, you need a teacher's supervision for that. But you can do any and all exercises you've been doing in class. Make sure you have a good floor. And even things without your point shoes, like I said, TheraBand and kind of picking things up with your feet. You know, with point work, you want to get to the point where you're like this in your shoe and not feeling like, you have a big brick on your foot, so make sure you're doing things at home. Any extra effort is going to help you. Fourth tip, make sure you're in the right shoes for your feet. Just because somebody else is in a brand that you think looks good on them doesn't mean it will work for you. If you're wearing a point shoe that is, is not good for your kind of feet, does not fit properly, you're going to have a lot of problems and you're going to start compensating and you could get injured. So if you're new on point or you're going on point, um, make sure you get properly fitted by somebody who knows what they're doing. Or if you've been on point for a while and you think your feet look weird and things are kind of odd, I encourage you to go get refitted because an ill-fitting point shoe makes you look sickled whether you're sickled or not. You know, if they're too narrow, you're going to look like this from the side and you're going to be looking like you're doing it wrong when you're actually not, and then you might compensate on your rolling up or rolling down, and it could just kind of snowball into a big problem. So make sure you're in the right brand for you. Try a bunch of different brands at the store. Don't just say, oh, I want to wear Freeds. So we got to make the Freeds work. 
you know? Freed's didn't work for me. The entire company in New York City Ballet was in Freed's and I didn't like them. That's when I switched to Blocks. So make sure you're in a good brand for you. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, as long as you feel good in it, you can dance well, and they look good, who cares what brand it is, you know? So make sure you're in a good brand, try a bunch of different ones, and make sure they fit you. You know, not too big, that can cause blisters, not too small, that can cause sickling. So get fitted by somebody who knows and try a bunch of different things. All right, so fifth tip, let's say now you're at the point where you're not cheating, you're doing extra stuff at home, you know, you're doing all the right things that I've already said, your shoes fit you, and you're still feeling frustrated. Start doing bar on point when you can. You don't even have to releve. I'm talking about plies, tendus, degages, because having to do a degage in a point shoe is much more difficult than doing it on flat. It takes a lot more ankle strength. It takes a lot more leg strength. So even if you just put on your point shoes at home and do a bar without going on to point, that is going to develop strength in your feet really, really fast. Because again, the whole point of point shoes is to feel like they are part of your feet. So doing tendus, doing degages, doing all your normal bar exercises makes the world of difference in a point shoe. It takes, I can't even tell you, your feet will get so tired so quickly, and if you keep doing that, you're gonna build a lot of strength. At the School of American Ballet, all the upper levels, every class is on point. I don't think I owned a pair of ballet shoes the entire time I was at SAB. We did all of bar, all of center, every class. And what that does is get your feet used to point shoes and it becomes like a ballet shoe to you. You don't feel like you've got foreign objects on your feet. So when you can, start doing bar in point shoes. And if you're a teacher and you're teaching girls who've maybe been on point for a year or so, have them put their point shoes on at bar, but you don't even have to releve. Get them, you know, the feeling, even like pushing against the ribbons on your ankle is an entirely different feeling than an elastic on a ballet shoe. I have a bar on point. I have a quick point bar that I will link both in, both in the box and above for you guys. That's why we did that. And if you'll notice in that, that point bar, it's not all releves and échappés. It's the, the tendus and the rondes and the dégagés and everything you'd normally do just in a point shoe. And I'm telling you, you will build so much strength and you'll, your point work will improve so, so quickly. All right, last tip, take your time. Again, you cannot do pirouettes day one. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt. You might develop a bad habit, like I said before. You know, you might be like, starting to turn like, ugh, and then by the time you actually are strong enough to do turns, you still have those bad habits. So trust me, the way to improve your point work quickly is to take your time. I know it sounds backwards. I know it sounds like, seriously, Katie, really? But I'm telling you, you've got to take your time when it comes to point. You've got to do it correctly. You've got to do what your teacher tells you. Don't do stuff at home that you have not done in class. I know a lot of you, even myself, were tempted to start doing pirouettes at home. Oh, we haven't done them in class. I'll try them at home. Don't do it. Do only what you're doing in class at home because the teacher can see you. They can know if you're doing it correctly. You know, you can't watch yourself turning, but they can. If you start do taking the liberties of doing stuff on your own, you're going to have big problems. So trust the process. Trust your technique. Trust that, you know, your teacher knows what she's doing when she's giving you these things. I had the same problem. I thought, oh, we're only at bar and it's been six months. But one, if you do it correctly, once you get to the center, it all comes quickly. It's when you rush the bar, you rush the initial process on point, that then the center takes longer. It takes longer to rush. So take your time, trust the process, trust your teacher, and you will be doing pirouettes on point in no time. So that is it, you guys. Those are my tips to kind of help you improve your point work a little bit faster, maybe something you haven't been doing. Probably doing bar on point is something that not a lot of you are doing and I encourage you to start doing it. Like I said, you don't even need to do relevance. Just stick on your point shoes, do your normal bar work, and you will see it's a lot harder in point shoes. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want more point tips, let me know in the comments below. I love giving you guys my little insights that I can and hopefully it will help you. If you missed the video on the 2017 body and health challenge we are doing. It is right there. You can click it to watch. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.